Greetings, Bill Mahana here with Pioneer Global Nutritional Sciences, welcoming you to another edition of Feed for Thought, available on Pioneer.com. Today the topic I wanted to cover is global connectivity. You might say, well, how does that really affect you as producers, livestock producers? Um, well, we don't have ex the exclusivity on great ideas. And so what we try to do at Pioneer is to connect around the world and to share best practices. For an example, we have what's called the Internet team at Pioneer, International Nutritionist. And we meet once a year and where we share best practices from around the globe what's happening. And if you think about it, you know, we think that uh, North America, obviously, when it comes to corn silage acres, is, is very important. But if you look at adding together all the corn silage acres in the EU and in Russia, it's three times the number of acres that we have in North America. So it's really an important market for Pioneer, being an international company and being one of the major seed companies in Europe and Russia. Uh, but what we try to do is share our best practices among our livestock producers. Uh, to give you an idea, kernel processing. Uh, kernel processing, when it first came to be, Kloss uh, brought, introduced, uh, introduced kernel processing and some of their choppers into California, and nobody in North America really had much experience with that. I was able to reach out to my colleague uh, in Germany, where they had a lot of experience with uh, kernel processing, primarily because they were planting just flint hybrids back in those days, and they were very hard kernels and they need to be processed. Uh, we didn't have quite the same requirement here in North America because we plant dent hybrids. But we know it was an important technology and we were able to share that back and forth uh, across the pond with our colleagues in Germany. Uh, another example might be uh, the uh, FLIR cameras that can mount onto our iPhones today to pay, take thermal imaging of our silages to see how effective inoculants may be working. Um, and this is a technology that was first introduced uh, by our French and Italian colleagues. So we learned about this technology. The first camera that I purchased was a heck of a lot bigger than this, uh, cost about $20,000. Uh, now the FLIR cameras that can mount on the bottom of your iPhone or your Android are like $300. So these are technologies we learned from being connected globally. Uh, finally, another example, oxygen barrier film. Oxygen barrier film is uh, produced, uh, one of the first manufacturers is produced in Italy. I've been able to tour the plant and, and get to know those people and understand the technology, mainly being introduced to them by my Pioneer colleagues. So I guess the bottom line is Pioneer's an international company, and we really think it's important to share best practices around the globe uh, so that we, all of our producers can share on those good ideas. Thank you.